Topping the headlines today, the state of Minnesota has taken some steps to make higher education more affordable for in-state residents. MSUM, though, is taking this relief a step further. Valley News Team's Gabriel Osler explains. The North Star Promise is a program set to go into effect for all Minnesota State Universities in the fall of 2024. But as a border school, Minnesota State University Moorhead has more students to consider than just those from the land of 10,000 lakes. And so we're well represented in North Dakota and South Dakota. That's why MSUM is introducing its own companion to the North Star Promise. Their program extends the benefits of the scholarship to students from both North and South Dakota. There's great public discussion about the, the value and the accessibility, affordability of, of a four-year degree. And this is a way in which we can really kind of be a part of that conversation and, and hopefully reach more families. Here's how it works. The MSUM program is what's known as a last dollar scholarship. First, you receive stipends or grants from other sources. Then, MSUM steps in. It takes into account any gift aid that's coming to the student, typically in the form of grants or scholarships that we may be, may be providing. And then if there's any additional gap, which often there is, we will backfill that and cover any, any gap for tuition. It's available to any student whose family has an adjusted gross income of less than $80,000. And the best part is that it can be renewed for up to 120 credits. We're excited to guarantee this for four years. And so uh, students and families thinking about this around the table uh, can, can plan that this is four years of assistance. Meaning MSUM doesn't just want to get students from the Dakotas in the door of their institution. They want to see their journey all the way through. In Moorhead, Gabriel Osler, Valley News Live. MSUM has seen a small but steady decline in enrollment over the past few years, just like Concordia and NDSU. They're all hoping that making education more financially accessible turns that trend around.